growing up, my family was traditional and they really sought to bring the values of Indian culture and religion into our households. I felt like I had the best of both worlds, that I was able to experience all the benefits of uh, American culture and the opportunities here, but still have a tangible foothold in our heritage and our roots. I enjoyed celebrating all of the Indian festivals just as much as we enjoyed celebrating the the American festivals. And it really was the blending of both that allowed me to go back and forth and have a strong sense of self with both aspects of both cultures. You know, I've worn a bindi since I was a little girl. To me, it's part of who I am. And that's why I wore it on that day. It wasn't uh, a special statement. All of my colleagues at, at JPL are quite used to, to seeing me dress like that. It was nothing unusual for any of us. Um, I can sympathize with those who have been teased as I was myself growing up, but my family was always there to support me and to iter reiterate why we follow these cultures and what it means and understanding what the purpose is of it and why that, where it came from in the heritage was a large part of being comfortable with myself in order to follow those beliefs because of understanding why we, why we do them. I have the highest respect for the scientists and engineers in ISRO. I, applaud them for their dreams. And I can see through the progress of the missions that they're executing, that they have all the capability and drive and ambition to succeed in all of those dreams. You know, we learn more in each step that we take, whether it's a success or failure than uh, in any other. Just taking that step is the biggest, biggest success. I'm super excited that NASA and ISRO are working closer together than they ever have in the past, such as with the NISAR mission. And I hope to see more of that type of collaboration in multiple uh, different planetary exploration venues.